Okay, we've got two examples here of compositions of functions. So we'll take a look at the first one. This is more algebraic and this is just more tabular. We're looking at a table here. Let's start off with this one. So what does composition mean? Well, this composition is not like an essay or anything that you'd write. Composition uh, in this sense means like made up of. So the composition is denoted by this little O looking symbol and it says f composed of g, f made up of g of negative 6. So f will be made up of g of negative 6. So let's think about this. If f is going to be made up of g, what should we find first? Well, we should find namely g of negative 6. So this is important right here. All right, this is important. So let me write out what this means symbolically first. All right. And uh, let me erase this real quick. f of g of negative 6 looks like this. All right, f made up of g of negative 6, just like I mentioned. So we're going to have to find g of negative 6 first. And once we get this number, whatever this number may be, we're going to plug it in here into f. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's see here g of negative 6. Let's figure that one out first. Negative 9 times negative 6 square minus 2 times negative 6 plus 1. Okay, so we're, we plug that in right there and uh, I'll give you a chance to do that. Alrighty. Okay, now just to make a long story short, all right, this happens to work out to be negative 311. All right, so go ahead and figure out, do the order of operations, and then you're sure to get this right here, negative 311. So now we're going to say, okay, well, what is f of g of negative 6? Well, this is f of negative 311. So we're going to plug in 9, I'm sorry, not 9, but negative 311 into this function f. 9 times negative 311 plus 2. All right, and I'll let you work that one out as well. Okay, so go ahead and perform this operation, and then you should get something along the lines of negative 2,797. So this right here is what f composed of g of negative 6 is. That's this answer right here. All right, now we've done the algebra part. Now let's take a, an easier route. Let's look at the table. This one's actually really nice. It looks complicated, but it's actually really easy. So let me move this up for you. So here we want f composed of g of 3. Well, what does that look like for us? f of g of 3. All right, we've got that going right there. So the first thing then we need to find is g of 3. So what is g of 3 from the table? g of 3, so here's x is 3, what's g of 3? In this case, it is 5. So g of 3 is 5. So if we want to find f of g of 3, then we simply need to say, well, what is f of 5? So look at the table now, when x is 5, f of 5 happens to be 10. So there we have it. So in this case then, f of g of 3, which is what we started with, which is f composed of g of 3, is simply 10. So here is our answer to the second composition question.